Okay. So. What's up for discussion? Villa. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Has your research turned up anything that might help this parasite problem? My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. <sighs> all right. For those watching who don't know uh, what this is doing, this is going to be uncomfortable. And also, let me fix the thing real quick. Uh, interface. I was messing with settings earlier. I don't really think I like that. Yeah, I think I do like it. I just don't want it to be as opaque. That good? That seems better. Tell me how you you guys like it. Uh. All right, do it. Vola carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. Uh, endure the discomfort. Let him carry on. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns and begins to push. Clench your fists. Ah! Shoots through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. I think I have it. The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. Hold as still as possible. Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye. Then, reaching into his bag, he produces an ice pick. I, the implement, but allow him to proceed. Volo slowly brings the ice pick closer to your eye. Now, don't move. Hold my breath. Cold metal presses against the skin beneath your brow. And then... Tap, tap, stab. Do you feel that? <laughs> I agree. It's a feisty critter. Just a little further. Volo tears the pick from your brain with a violent jerk. Your eye plops down into the mud. He pauses, looks down at your eye, and recoils slightly as it sinks into the mud. <sighs> there appears to be an amount of cosmetic damage. You knocked out. You knocked my bloody eye out. Please, try not to overexert yourself. You're in a rather fragile state at present. I can't help but feel partly responsible. Perhaps there is something more I can do. Take this. A far superior relic to that old jelly you were chained to. Try it on for size. And, um, it was... Very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. 
Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta. And now I can see invisibility. Bleeding eye. So now, I've got a new eye and I can see invisibility because of that. Best be on my way. That's the entire reason why that existed. <laughs> also, I'm gonna try and knock down the quality a little bit, see how it looks because I've noticed that it's kind of skipping frames for the recording. Yeah, this still looks all right. It's not exactly the highest, but it still looks like pretty much good. I wish it was a bit better, but this will be easier on my computer and it will be easier on the recording, hopefully, because it's easier on the computer. I wonder what file this is in. I guess I'll find out later. Uh, okay. So, we need to find a way to leave or thing, and also we need to go track down Carlac. Okay. What? Harpy. Well, this is bad. I didn't know there were harpies back here. Ow. And then there's a fourth one. That's a miss. Okay, uh, yeah, this is kind of bad. Uh, hmm. Don't want to use range too much. I could just do a simple attack, main hand, 3 to 10, or an Eldritch Blast, which is 42% chance. Let's just do main hand. Okay, never mind. Didn't make it anyways. Okay. Alright, she's clear to move. So, we're gonna move her slightly out of the way. Wait, why can't she... Okay, so she can't cast spells because she's not good with, uh, heavy armor. Crap. Do I have any armor? I've got clothing I can give her. Okay. So, that was her action. And <clears throat> let's just summon something real quick to help out. No, and turn all doom. Let's see. And you do thorn whip. Come here. Okay, or not. And turn. Uh. And. Are you? Do you have any resistances? No. Just do a normal attack then. 
That's nice. Uh, move towards that one. And turn. And attack that one. And turn. <coughs> That's a critical miss. Yep, reckless attack. Luring Song. What does Luring Song do? Claws on Gale. Resistance Songs. We see. Uh, and is immune to its effects. Luring Song. Must succeed a Wisdom Saving Throw every turn or be lured by the Harpy's Song. What does that mean? Attracted to the harpy's luring melody, the affected e entity will use its turn to move closer to the harpy, allowing her to to make multiple attacks. Okay. Well, we are going to move closer. Finding my way. But we're going to try and kill it. There we go. And end turn. Lured. Okay. Uh. Okay. Let's just real quick. Let's see. Their dexterity high. Uh, decently. In that case. And they're going to use the heal. On Gale. In turn. Uh, Gale has resisted the song. Fire. And move away towards that one. In turn. Fly. Uh, no. Cancel that. Just keep on. Just try to move cl as close as you can. And now. He has lured. But he's just gonna be moving towards it. Luring Song. Saved from Luring Song. <sighs> Can I... Attack that thing from anywhere? Dash. What is that? Flourish. Coming through. Hopefully I'll be able to flourish. Yep. Nope, critical miss. Singing. Resist to the song. Quick button for the dash? No, there's not. Moving. 
Uh, go here and I can't reach him. Okay. End turn. Tempest, I will raise. Uh, let's see. Let's do ice knife and upgrade it to the next level. Cool. And turn. Uh, shoot him. There we go. Cool. And turn. Uh, go. Fly. Okay. I don't have enough movement to fly. Whatever. Just go up here. Is this of the song? 42 or 60. I'll go with the 60. Thank you. And let's loot the bodies. I wonder if we can jump on this. Yes, we can. Hmm. Kind of makes you wonder how much stuff we think of, or that we don't think of, that they programmed in, that we're just completely missing. Hi. Hey, Orm. Alright. Nice conversation. Uh, anything down here? There's a chest. You know what? Let's use the potion of animal speaking. He's back! You brought him back! <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what? Fine. That, that was worth it. I think I have it until long rest, yeah. I'm sleeping. Could you just move a little bit? I, I need to use the elevator. Uh, okay. <coughs> Sorry, bud. What are you, what, what are we doing? Okay, there we go. Okay, let's get out of here. And I guess let's hunt down Carlac before we leave. Kind of want to take a short rest, but we don't have like terrible amounts of health missing. Like I've only got, what? Seven health missing, which that actually kind of is a lot, but not too much for having 41 health at this low of a level. And Gale only has two, but he also is like super in need of health every single time we leave and all that. All right. Well, we need to search up there. For the uh, for Carlac. Okay, Gale. My condition is worsening again. I need to consume some powerful magic, or it may become volatile. Give Gale a magical artifact, and let's give him the amulet of Saluna.
Thank you. It is a strange experience. Each time anew, I kind of lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. Somehow the second artifact hasn't had the effect of the first. It's somewhat relieved the discomfort, but I fear my hunger hasn't quite... Ah! Yeah, what's happening? <clears throat> the magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle, the fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble indeed. Okay. Looks like this. Yep. Hey, Carlac. I have something to ask. One horn. The stink of Avernus. Advocatus Diaboli. <sighs> well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. You and Devil, we've been hunting Karlak, right? Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers. But I... Ugh! A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Evidence. Proof that you're a devil. A gladiator in the Archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain, but it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. Uh, I don't think she can lie. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. Finally home. Or near it, anyway. You served her! That's enough to damn you! Stand down. You saw what I saw. Will catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. You don't know what you're saying! You're asking me to trust a devil! Oh, you're stubborn. Carlac's not a devil, and you know it. Listen to sense now. I don't want this to end badly for either of us. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I'm hey. Karlak. But you already knew that. And you are... I'm Samson. Well met, soldier. Nice to meet a friendly around here. It's been tough going so far. I may not be a devil, but I can put the Blade's reputation to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? A little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out, 
I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel, the archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there, but devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins of tear, to take me back. Problem is, I'm not going. Is the Nordic Pantheon in this as well, or...? Alright, so, hold on. Now, obviously... I'm... Okay. I'm just trying to work through this in my mind, because there's a lot of different gods and goddesses and all that in this game, and in real life I'm Christian, and... I believe certain things and all that. One of the... So... Raphael... Is... A devil in this universe. So is Zariel. Seems... The last... Two letters of any angel's name is normally L. L means God. So I'm wondering if there's significance to that. And also there's Paladins of Tear, which Tear which I think his name was Tyre in the Nordic Pantheon, but it's spelled the same. He was a god in the Nord in the Nordic Pantheon. I think he died. I'm not sure. He might have caused Ragnarok. I'm not sure. But. It's kind of. Strange for me to be like. Oh yeah. This seems. Normal. I'm trying to figure out if. It's just they're reusing names. Or if. There's actual significance behind it. I don't know. Comment down below what it is. <laughs> but. Very interesting that that name is used and that every single. Uh, or not every single. But a lot of the big arch demons. Which it did say that Zariel was a, an angel. So. It makes me think that. It's like some weird version of uh, the Christian faith mixed with other faiths, but I'm not sure. Who knows, really? Probably the creators. They probably didn't put this much thought into it. Actually, they probably did. They put thought into making it to where you cast grease near fire that it explodes into fire. I really need to look into this. <laughs> Alright, uh... So you want me to kill the people hunting you? Don't worry, I'll lead the charge. But I could use your help. There's a lot of them and only one of me. After that, we can team up. Take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? I like her. She looks like she could throw me over her shoulder and carry me to safety. Should the need arise. Yeah, sure. Fuck yes! They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Uh, hang on though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? All right. Hey, Will. You got something You've to say? You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. What's that supposed to mean? Lay it out plainly, Will. It means that a reckoning's coming. And I'll be the one to pay up. What's that supposed to mean? The truth will out before you know it. One night soon when we make camp. The veil will be lifted, and I'll pay my penance. Penance? Should I- should I be worried? You're not in any danger. 
I promise. I can't say the same about me. Did his patron tell him to kill her? I am so confused. I know Lord warlocks serve, uh, like, basically, uh, gods or whatever. They have patrons that they serve. So I'm, I'm wondering if he, his patron was the one to tell him to kill. Alright, so now we've got Karlak. What is Karlak? Tiefling. Barbarian. Cool. Alright, we got Karlak, we got me, we've got Will, and we've got Shadowheart. Since right now we don't have a healing spell. Let's do... No, we won't do a short rest right now. But we will go up here and go to an area that I've never been before and do a thing that I've never done before. Because I never got Carlac or Will. Okay. Hello? Anybody home? Oh! These are gnolls? Or... Hey guys! Please, no more. Leave us in peace, and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us, please. We just want to go home. Assess his posture, his eyes. Is he telling the truth? Hey, I get to find it out. There's something in the squint of his eye. You suspect he's lying. Enough of the charade. I know who you really are. Enough. Enough. I'll not play pretend anymore. Karlak, you're going home in pieces if needs must. And you. You'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. Avernus was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back! Hey, uh, Karlak, what's going on? Ow. Alright. Will. Go inside. Who else is here? Ah, back there, okay. Okay. Which I'm just gonna quick save real quick, so that just in case I die and fail this, then I don't have to Redo that insight check and maybe fail it. Uh, and turn. Breathing, despite everything. Melee weapon. Uh, let's go into a frenzy. And attack him across the desk. And turn. She goes in. Got to press on. Uh. Cure wounds. On yourself. Healing word on Take Samson. Care. And turn. I can do bare heart. 
Uh, really, if you don't attack or take any damage each turn. Alright, I will be able to attack that one. What am I doing? Alright, there we go. I had my fingers on the wrong buttons. Uh... You know what? Alright, what weapon does she have as a melee? Oh, okay. Let's do Legacy of Avernus. Do these dudes have any... thing? No. Alright, Legacy of Avernus. Reckless attack. Nineteen as a critical hit. Miss. Four to nine. Fifteen and one? Why were you able to attack three times? I get you killed this time. Nope. In turn. Alright, attack. Go up and attack that one. Reckless attack. Nope, so miss. Level 2, go up and heal him. And healing word, heal him. And turn. Okay. And we will do just normal melee attack. Open that door. In position. And run in. And turn. So Rel is a traitor. Uh, why is it starting with her? No time to waste. And attack. Nope. And turn. You. Go up and attack. And attack a second time. Reckless attack. Nope. And turn. Go right here and much health. Yeah, that's it. There we go. And turn. Go up and attack. Reckless attack. There we go. Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off. They'll find nothing but a pile of ash. Zarya won't get near you again. We'll make sure of that. That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger. <laughs> okay. Hey, 
Hey. Decade of pent up rage and a blaze of internal fury. Hey, uh, let's get out of here, please. To less flammable. Circumstances. My gosh, Carlac, calm down. Okay. That ought had to let off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted, the fire's lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look? Like, you should have melted a long time ago. How can you stand it? Honey, I could go all night. Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. How did you. How the hells did you end up. How did you get an infernal engine for a heart? High pain tolerance and a dynamic duo of truly shitty bosses. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the Scar show for later, after we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things, if I can find him. Or if they meant meant Damon, a tiefling weaponsmith. A weaponsmith, huh? Not sure if he's the guy, but I'd love to find out. A tune-up would do this rusty heart a world of good. I don't know where he is, though. Uh, okay. Well, have things in here calmed down? Looks like they have. Now we can loot. Okay, so now we gotta find Damon again. And also her heart might explode or something. Still more dead moles. Quick save. There's stuff up here. There's, there's a lot of, to explore. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. Hey guys. Creature's eyes roll back in its head, equal parts bliss and agony. She'd eaten, feasted, and yet, looking into her eyes, you can see it wasn't enough. She's still hungry. Come, see, my flesh becomes new flesh. Huh? You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. The hyena moans softly as its body contorts, ribs cracking and flesh tearing. What's happening to you? Is there any way I can help? Yes, come closer. Feed the new flesh. What? Feed the new flesh? Her belly splits like a rotten fruit, birthing a frenzy of claws and fangs. <laughs> Alright, maybe I should turn some things back up to high quality. Okay, so those things are gonna start 
birthing more things. Probably stronger things. Scram. And whatever you do, don't go and get your friends. All right. Moving. Uh, move up a little bit more, I guess. And just shoot. Advantage because it's bloated. And let's go ahead and go into a frenzy. Nope. Go into a rage, bear heart. Can't afford to let up. On I go. Uh. Alright, what? Knolls don't have any things, and neither does that. Okay. Let's attack the bloated hyena. And end turn. Finding my way. You were no. End turn. Right. Going to a frenzy. Go up and attack. Go up further. And turn. Critical miss. Oh. They're getting alerted. Okay. Yep, definitely happy that I went up here and frenzied. Uh, attack. Frenzied. And turn. This is my happy place. Melee. You're not gonna like this, mate. Reckless. Uh oh. That's bad. Does that mean my frenzy's gonna end? Unless I take damage. Uh huh. Firebolt. That returns the fearless. All right. Well, that one's dead. And turn. No, don't attack that one. Attack her. No hunter. Awesome, took damage, okay. That's not normally a good thing, but for barbarians it is. Alright. Uh attack. Good. That means we're staying into in the rage. What should I do? Uh not healing word, not yet. Let's take That one hasn't done yet. Okay. The hunter. Uh, and turn. Use dash. Soul numbered. Soul numbed? What does that mean? What does that do? Can't take bonus actions or reactions. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's try and get his concentration down. No? Okay. Survival is all that matters. Oh, it's on Karlak, okay. Well, the bonus actions doesn't really matter too much then. No time for mercy. There we go. No longer soul numbed. Miss. Seven. Alright. Try to attack. Good. Try to turn. Uh, probably need to heal yourself. Let's do the one that will try to heal more. Yeah, that didn't even heal everything. Okay. And turn. Let's try to get you. And turn. Reckless attack. Nope. There we go. My guy. My guy. All right, fine. There we go. And turn. You, uh, I really should heal, but I also really don't want to use the thing. So, range attack. Nope. That favors the fearless. Shoot you. And turn. There we go. And attack you. How horrid. Once in a lifetime sight that. Yeah, I figure. One day I'll catch a Okay. Uh short rest. That helped. Long sword, dead knoll. It's been a long day. Take care of an agent. To rest soon. Shipment orders. Read. Deliver the chest to me unopened. Read the first sentence again. Deliver the chest unopened. Deliver. Read the first sentence again. Deliver the chest un to me unopened. Read. I'm not gonna keep doing it, my guy. Open it, and I will know, because you will be dead. This is not a threat. This is simply what will happen if you open the chest. Okay. 